Well, this is absolutely needed. We need all NFL games to be on a Sunday to make this a whole lot easier for me. Uh, triple upload today, so, you know, if you're watching now, this is probably the third video you've seen from me today. If not, go back and watch the other two first. Uh, we got a couple games that do not matter as in regards to the NFL and Week 17. Now, usually, usually, Week 17 would mean... Hey, the season's over, regular season's over, you know, everything's mostly set, you know, for the playoffs and stuff like that. But no, we still have one more week after this. And, you know, Sunday and Monday are going to be really, really intriguing for a lot of reasons. A lot of teams are still fighting for playoff spots and a lot of games still mean a lot to a lot of teams. So let's get these two out the way. Um, Giants, Bears, does not matter at all. Uh, Lions Seahawks also does not matter at all. Those two games do not matter. If you're a fan of those four teams, good on you. But for everybody else, uh, yeah, yeah. Let, let's talk about the rest of these. Um, I'm gonna put these two in tandem: Jags, Patriots, Buccaneers, Jets. Now these two games here, Jags and Jets played a really intriguing game last week. And they get to play two really good teams this week, the Patriots and Buccaneers. And we know the Jags and Jets can play. We know the, we know these teams can play. They can play some football. You know, the NFL is any given Sunday around here. So, you know, Bucks still trying to adjust, you know, after losing so much on offense and defense. You know, Tom Brady's still really the only guy there. You know, that, that that's healthy, I mean. <laughs> He's the only guy that's healthy. In all honesty, I mean, everybody's just injured, banged up for the Bucks, And the Patriots are trying to recover after losing against the Bills last week. And they need this one against the Jags. They need this one to try and stay in the AFC East race. Um, Rams-Ravens, on the other hand, this game was supposed to be in the later window on Sunday. But now it's backed up into this new window in which everything's just... There's just so much in the new window now, which... You know, it's crazy. Like, again, you know, that's just the way it is with New Year's and, you know, um, Saturday being dominated by college football. So you can't flex games on the Saturday. Got a lot of good games. Got a lot of intriguing games on Sunday instead. So the Rams, Ravens, we don't know what Lamar Jackson will be, you know, what his status will be. But we do know that Von Miller could be looking to sack whoever is going to be starting for the Ravens all day. We know Cooper Cup could be exploiting the Ravens defense, which has had some injury problems, you know, throughout the last couple weeks. Again, the Ravens are on a downward spiral, you know, and they need they need they need this victory. And the Rams are not going to make it look easy for them, and vice versa. You know, this is not going to be easy for the Rams. You know, Rams have made critical mistakes in their games in the past, and that could cost them. You know, here, you know, sometimes the mistakes have not cost the Rams the games. Sometimes it has. So this one's going to be really intriguing here. Keep an eye on that one. Chiefs Bengals is the big one here, really, in this new window that you're going to have to keep an eye on. You know, Patrick Mahomes versus Joe Burrow. You, you can't book a better script than this. The Bengals defense has been on a tear. Chiefs defense has been on a tear. Both these offenses have been on a tear. This is going to be one hell of a game to to really get week 17 off on the right foot I mean, my goodness man my goodness um, week 17 this is really the biggest game of the day it should have been a Sunday night game in all honesty but we'll talk about that later on and the Chiefs the Bengals just need to keep doing what they're doing and they can win this game that's really the only thing I can say they're going hell of a game again like I said before you know both these teams have tremendous amounts of talent, with a tremendous amounts of talent on both sides of the ball, and they and they can they can make it work. Falcons Bills on the other hand, Falcons are still hanging on by a thread. They need things to happen, you know, for them to get to the playoffs. Bills on the other hand just want to try and get close to lock up the AFC East. Now, I don't think the AFC East can be clinched this week. I do believe you know that the Bills can get a good. Well, at least more of an advantage if they can beat the Falcons. If they don't beat the Falcons, the Patriots beat the Jags. You know, that, that could spell some trouble. Or, alternatively, that could, you know, set some things up you know, for another team. But we'll talk about that team in a moment. Um, 
So Josh Allen versus Matt Ryan, two quarterbacks that are, you know, that have had some ups and downs this year. Matt Ryan especially, I mean, man, it, it's been a weird season for him, you know. I don't, I don't think I've watched a Falcons game all season long, in all honesty. Uh, but the Bills, you know, Bills have had some had some crazy games lately. They 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 they, they need they need this victory. They really do. They really do. In all honesty, Dolphins Titans on the other hand, this one is going to be huge. The Dolphins have won seven straight games. The Titans are, you know, they've had some intriguing games. You know, they're going to get they could get Derrick Henry back soon. They need to lock up the AFC South. They could do that if they beat the Dolphins. They could do that if they beat the Dolphins this week. Um, and, you know, Tua versus Ryan Tannehill, that's going to be a really intriguing matchup, I think. Uh, of course, the Dolphins' defense is also really, really good. Yeah, yeah. again, like I, like I think everybody has said, yeah, the Dolphins have taken advantage of their competition over the past few weeks, but it's still a damn good Dolphins defense. Don't discredit the Dolphins defense. It's a damn good one. Titans, you know, also having, you know, a lot of good things happen. On offense and defense over the past few weeks, and you know, well, let's see what let's see what let's see what this game can bring us. You know, this is gonna be huge. Ra Raiders Colts is also going to be huge. You know, is Jonathan Taylor gonna run all over this Raiders defense? The Raiders need a victory desperately. The Colts are riding high. They are on a furious, furious slate. You know, of winning games the past few weeks. They were. Colts, the Colts were left for dead, you know, back in October. They have risen up to the point to where they are looking like a team that can, you know, make a deep run in the playoffs. I mean, my goodness. The Raiders need this victory just as much as the Colts do. You know, huge game here. Huge game. Eagles, Washington. Uh, the Eagles taking on the Washington football team. Uh, we know the Washington football team is not very good. You know, Taylor Heineke and company, they're just not it's just not doing it for me. So, you know, Devontae Smith and Jalen Hurts looking like they can have that connection all day. And Washington should really be knocked out of the playoff picture altogether now, but there's still a small chance for them to get in, you know, if things go their way. But Washington, I don't expect Washington to win this game. I expect the Eagles, you know, who have improved dramatically on offense and defense to get it done. They should get it done. Excuse me. Uh, Broncos Chargers. Now, this is going to be huge. This is really going to be huge here. You know, Chargers have fallen completely out of the playoff picture altogether. Broncos 7 and 8. They need a hit. They need a victory badly to stay in the playoff picture. The Broncos lose this game. They're out. They're, they're out, plain and simple. Uh, Chargers need this win, too. You know, they, if Justin Herbert and company can get past Drew Locke and the Broncos, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be real interesting to see you know how this game goes. Um, 49ers Texans, you know, there's still there's still a lot about this 49ers team, you know, that you know needs to be discussed. As Trey Lance looking like he will be playing for the 49ers, get the Texans team that stunned the Chargers last week. Can the same thing happen under Davis Mills and company? You know, for the Texans, can the same thing happen this week? Because the 49ers lose this game, that opens things up for a lot of other teams in the NFC. That opens things up for them. They cannot lose another game here. The 49ers cannot. You know, we'll see. Cardinals Cowboys is the really the big game here in the late window. I don't know why it's the big game late, but whatever, man. Um, I. I this Cowboys defense has been on another level lately, you know. I mean, Marcus Lawrence, I mean, my goodness, you know. You, I, mean, I mean, guys like Micah Parsons, I mean, um, Javon Diggs, I mean, this, 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 this Cowboys defense has just been on another level. Cowboys offense has been improving. Cardinals, on the other hand, ever since they lost J.J. Watt, you know, ever since, you know, their undefeated season got destroyed against the Packers in a close game have been spiraling out of control, out of, you know, out of where they should be. You know, they, they, this is a team that probably, if they played their cards better, should be, ah, did you get that? 
cards. <laughs> if, if they play better, if they play their cards better, they should be in the first place in the NFC West. But now they're sitting at fifth. Yeah, they have a playoff spot locked up, but they need to catch the Rams now. And this game does them no favors. Kyler Murray and company have got to get it together. This is a talented Cardinals team. We know this. You know, no, no DeAndre Hopkins, but you still, you still got James Conner. You still got uh, Christian Kirk. You still, you still got AJ Green. I mean, this is a talented Cardinals offense that can play against this Cowboys defense. They can, they can roll up on this Cowboys defense. Oh, I, I just don't understand. I don't, I, I don't, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Crazy stuff. I just don't. I just don't know. Panther Saints is also stuck in this late window for some reason. I don't know why. Um, you know, the Saints, they need a victory desperately. You know, I'm not sure, you know, if things are going to be the same. It looks like Sam Darnold will be playing. You know, so instead of, instead of the Cam Newton experiment, It'll be Sam Darnold, and I'm not sure who the quarterback will be for the Saints in this game, but the Saints need this victory. I don't know if Ian Book will be starting again. I, maybe Taysom Hill, maybe Trevor Simeon. I just don't know at this point. I'm not going to be looking at this game for at all, probably. Um, so, you know, Panthers Saints, you know, the, this is a Panthers team that just had – you know, had a good had, had a good run for like three weeks, and then again they just fell off a cliff. Saints are in that same boat to where they have fallen, you know, off a cliff. You know, with all these injuries that have occurred to them, it's unfortunate again for them. So we'll see what the Saints can do. No, um, speaking of you know, no, there's no Kirk Cousins for the Vikings on Sunday night against the Packers. And although the Vikings beat the Packers earlier in the season. This is not the same Packers team we once saw in that game. And, you know, I mean, it was a definitely a stutter uh, uh, about a couple months ago. But, I mean, this is not the same Packers team. This Packers team has played so much better. They're looking, the Packers are looking to lock up the number one seed. The Vikings are still in the playoff hunt for now. But if the Vikings lose this game, they can pretty much kiss their hopes goodbye. And I have no idea who will be starting for the Vikings. I have no idea. I really don't. So, we'll see. We will see how this goes. Um, you know, because, I mean, the Packers are just trying to look up to lock up the double one seat. That's really what they're trying to do here. You know, at 12-3 and three right now. But the Vikings, you know, Again, they need to, they need this win. They need this win desperately. If they can sweep the Packers, that will help immensely. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. And then to round out on Monday night, two teams desperate for a victory. Two teams that, you know, if one of them loses, they're pretty much out. I believe the loser will be out. You know, when it comes to um, playoff discussions, you know, if they lose this game. So the Browns and the Steelers. Big Ben's final home game, Baker Mayfield and company coming in, and this one is going to be a rough, rough game. You know, this one is going to be a rough, rough Monday night game. I don't know how, I, I don't know how this one is going to go. You know, Miles Garrett, maybe look at the sack Ben, ben Roethlisberger a lot in this game. I, I just don't know. I just don't know how this game is going to go because this one, Again, I just don't find this game to be very intriguing anymore. You know, maybe, maybe if you said earlier in the season, but we know that Steelers are frauds. We know that the Browns are not good either. So there's really no point in watching this game on Sunday, on Monday night. There's really no point. There's really no point in watching the late games on both Sunday and Monday night. There really is no point, in all honesty. You know, stick to the new window, for goodness sake. I, I know, that's crazy. For once, stick to the new window, because that's where all the good games are. That's where all the good games are. So, with that being said, I'll see you all Monday night to recap week 17. And then we'll get on with it with the week 18. And that will be, uh, the week 18 preview will be on Friday. And remember to check out the rest of the videos for the day. Uh, one has premiered at 10.45 a.m. The other at 
2.45 p.m. and this one will be up at 6.45. I'm recording all these um, late on New Year's Eve, so, you know, just try and get them out the way now, so that's why. Um, um, all the other videos, you know, like I said, this is going to be a busy next few weeks for me, you know, so, you know, like I've been saying in the other videos, busy next few weeks. Uh, but yeah, let's enjoy week 17 for what it is, and Get ready for week 18, because it's going to be right around the corner, just before you know it. I mean, boom. And speaking of boom, yeah, I, I, I'm just as sad as you are. John Batten has indeed passed away um, earlier this week at 85. That all Batten documentary that aired on Fox, I have not seen it yet. I uh, want to try and see it, but... My experience with John Madden is not just video games. I, I mean, I played the Madden games in the past. I wanted to get this out, too. Uh, in the past, uh, you know, the, oh yeah, you know th th those were the games I played as a child. And my experience with Madden in the booth is not... I, I can't remember a lot, but I do know he did uh, do a couple Super Bowls, you know, late, you know... Um, the last game on ABC before ESPN decided to put uh, Super Bowl 40, I believe, you know, when that was the last game on ABC for such a long time. I remember watching that game fully and then, you know, Super Bowl uh, 43? I think it was Super Bowl 43 uh, in which the uh, Steelers and Cardinals played in one hell of a game. That Those were some of my experiences, of course. You know, every time I try and look up John Batten games of the past, you know, like old like old games, you know, when I'm bored, uh, they usually never come up. I usually never find those. So, you know, I just wanted to hear, I usually like hearing John Batten's voice and stuff like that. So every time, you know, we hear him talk about a traducted or, you know, just general football insight, he was, he was more, he was more than the game. He was beyond the game. He he exemplified what the game meant, in all honesty, man. And we're all gonna miss him. I, I guarantee you that, man. I, I did. I, I did not. I did not forget uh, that boom was intentional, man. That boom was intentional. I hope he's commentating games, you know, in the heavens with Pat Summerall, you know, because I, I really I have no experience with Pat Summerall at all, you know. I was I was I became an NFL fan too late for me to be, you know, watching. Pat Summerall, but Matt transcended the game. He not only did he win a Super Bowl, not only did he have a playing career. You know, I don't think he had it. I don't think he played in the NFL. I believe, but you know, as a broadcaster, as a human being that you know transcended, you know, the NFL. You know, he was just a great all-around guy. You know, from, from I mean, from all the stories. I mean, all the stories that you know other guys can tell. You know, just a great, great person, you know, and we, we're, we're going to miss you, John, man, we're going to miss you, man, um, you know, I hope you're competing games in the heavens with Pat, you know, so, yeah, so, hopefully, you know, that week, uh, that moment of silence before the games, you know, this week, too, man, it, it's going to be really, really impactful, I, I, I was completely shocked by that. You know, just blindsided again. So, week 17 will be great. A tribute to a legend of the game as well. And, yeah. that That's it, everybody. I, again, I will see you all on Monday night, late Monday night, to recap week 17. And rest in peace, John Madden. Take care, everybody.